plain water at all. And speaking of hydration, yes. we need to be mindful mm -hmm. of our water take during these summer months. The warm temperatures, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. Storm Shield meteorologist George Flickinger here with us. And George, we're going to have another 90 degree day today. It's going to be very hot and humid again today. And Libby, that story you're just reading about the children drinking water in school, I was kind of laughing about that because you remember how it was when you and I were in school back in the day. You'd go and play a recess all day and then you could only drink this much water. Yeah. Remember yeah. when you got in? I do. Remember, you get all hot and sweaty. <laughs> And we were then allowed to only have three sips of water from the water fountain back in the day. Yeah, so that wasn't just, smart, was it? Yeah, just how <laughs> things change over the years. Now, if you have some outdoor plans for today, you're obviously going to want to keep cool. As far as your weather, lower 90s, which is not as hot as it's been recently, 88 at noon and 92 at 4. By the way, I'm showing you this view of the Blue Dome District. If you're wondering, just had a friend of mine asking me, where is a good place to go watch? The Tulsa Tough for tonight, anywhere along 2nd Street. I'm probably going to be near 2nd and Frankfurt, which is near Lee's Bicycles. That's a real good place to go and watch. And then from there, you can just kind of follow the crowds and know where to go. So anywhere along 2nd Street, uh, almost kind of on the Greenwood side of downtown Libby. So if you're going out, that might be a good place to check it out. What about parking down there, George? Uh, parking, you can find parking. Uh, you can almost invent your own parking spot when you go downtown. <laughs> and uh, a lot of the lots, yeah. you can just about park anywhere. Okay, so good to know. Go, go check that out. All right, 549 the time here now on your Friday morning. Most of the rain is going to stay in western Oklahoma today, and that's where the rain is ongoing. You can see some showers and thunderstorms near Enid. However, that rain is going to weaken as it crosses I-35. However, it is likely going to hang together long enough to make its way into Ponga City, Osage County, Pawnee County, and possibly into Bartlesville. Now, the second batch of rain located near Elk City, this is also heading our direction, should hold together to make it toward Oklahoma City. Then it's going to gradually diminish, and this is what we're going to see all weekend long. With Showers and thunderstorms developing to our west and north. They'll head this way, then they're going to fall apart as they make their way toward northeastern Oklahoma. As there is a cold front, and just by looking at the temperatures, you can see where the front is located. There is a front stalled out here. The storms are going to fire along the front, then as they move eastward, they're going to weaken into green country. So we're not going to get any relief as far as any significant cooling. And certainly a warm morning for us right now. Temps in the 70s and 80s, 75 in Pryor, 80 in Tulsa, 73 in Muskogee, and 72 in Ogmulgee. Getting ready for our sunrise this morning, and we're going to wake up to some areas of clouds around. More clouds to the west as there's more rain that direction. It's a warm 80 in Tulsa. So if you're trying to plan out your day, don't cancel your outdoor plans today. As overall, we're not going to see that much rain. Most of the showers and thunderstorms are going to be falling in western Oklahoma and also into Kansas. However, it is possible that at any time tonight you could get rain. It cannot be ruled out at any time with this front in the area. As far as tomorrow, the majority of our Saturday is also going to be dry. However, occasional hit and miss thunderstorms are possible anytime during the day. Temps today are going to reach the lower 90s for most of us. And then tonight, scattered hit and miss thunderstorms. It's going to be very warm and humid. We'll be a south breeze to cool you down if you're headed out. We'll see lows in the 70s. Your seven day forecast. Not solid rain, but occasional rain for your weekend. It's going to be cooler with the rain clouds nearby. We'll see highs in the 80s next week. Hit and miss thunderstorms possible every day. Highs in the mid 80s. So Libby, have your umbrella ready to go. All right, we'll do. Thanks, George. We've got another look at traffic for you on your Friday morning.